Hey guys, welcome back to UK Year We Grow. Now, today we're going to take a look around this garden. Now, I don't know if you remember, but about a year ago, I started revamping the back end of this garden, which is my mother's, and right underneath me where I'm sat here used to be a 30-year-old concrete pond. So we're gonna have a look around this garden, see what we've done and what we've still got left to do, and that's coming right up after this. So guys, as you can see, we created this pond and it's doing fantastically. Now, we had a few is issues in the onset and that was mainly the water turning green and everything else. Now, you usually get that when you put in new water, there's no plants and the sun is beating down and what have you. But there was a few things we did to overcome that. We put in mechanical and biological filtration and this is a canister filter it's designed for these ponds and um, the capacity of that filter is probably about three times the amount of this pond so it's really doing a good job and right in the center of this filter is an ultraviolet light so the water's pumped up through that filter round the back and down this waterfall here so that was the first thing and that killed off all of the algae in the pond but what we wanted to do was we wanted to create some shade. Now there was two reasons for that. Firstly, we had a heron visit the pond. Now normally they would clear a pond out, but because of the way we built this pond with the false channel underneath these big rock works, and like I said, I'll put a link to the description up here, go up and have a look at that, how we built that false channel. It's really good for lots of different things. The frogs love it, the newts, the toads, the frog spawn and everything else can get in there away from the fish. So it means you can have a community sort of pond. It can be a wildlife pond and it can be a fish pond as well at the same time. Now there is all sorts of pond skimmers going on here at the moment and flies, dragonflies and things like that coming down. And it's all because of that little ecosystem that's underneath these rocks here. So that's another thing we did. We then built the waterfall and underneath that waterfall there is a hibernaculum. Now for those of you who don't know what a hibernaculum is, it's basically a chamber that's got lots of different nooks and crannies inside and that's where frogs, toads, newts and all other manner of animals can go and hibernate through winter and it was used to really good effect this winter. We put this pergola above the pond to help create shade and we've got some climbing clematis and and what have you which will climb over time and, and cover that but so between the wall and the pergola which herons don't like a, a, an enclosed space that sorted out the heron issue but the other issue was the heron couldn't get to the fish because they were able to go down deep firstly and they were able to get underneath these walls now as you can see we've planted out this area this wall behind us here on, on to my right is only a temporary wall because the plot of land next door was sold uh, for a house to be built so they put up the fence and took down the stone wall while they dug their foundations eventually all that will be replaced with another stone wall as you can see we put a nice white picket fence in which will help to section off this garden now the bottom half of this garden is still a mess as you can see We've got wood chip storage here, and that is going to be used for over on the bed that you'll see in a, in a moment. All the fence panels are falling down because they're falling into the cavities and the foundations that they've dug next door, but due to planning, that's been stopped. So we, uh, until that gets sorted out, there is no point replacing the floor out there. Now, the floor here has all been slabbed, and it's nice, if you remember, there was all horrible grass here, it's full of weed and everything else. So now we've got a real usable area that we can uh, walk on and, and use. And the same thing will be done down in this messy area. All of that will eventually be slabbed. So that's great. Now, the flower border here was put in and initially the plants were transplanted from the other side of the garden behind the old concrete pond over here uh, until my parents could decide what they're keeping and what they aren't. Okay guys, so as you can see here, this is what's left of the trommel. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the trommel in action before, okay, this is just basically a rotary sieve. I'll put a link in the description up here for you as well. But 
this uh, trommel, this is all that's left of it, all the wooden frame rotted. Now we've had this trommel for years and years and years and years and it has done loads of work for us. And there's gonna be a vi another video when we build a frame for this coming up. I've already done one for the drum, even though it was old and very poor quality, you can still get the idea for making a drum. I don't need to make another one at the moment, but just, just to let you know what it is, it's uh, three, thir uh, three 21 inch bike wheels and then this 30 mil, me mil mesh running on the inside and that's all just cable tied to the wheels and it just creates this mesh drum. It's run by a motor and a V-belt and these wheels are, are basically what guides it. I've got some timber here just by my feet and that we will do in another episode. But the reason I'm bringing this up here is because all of that soil in there uh, originally came from a farm and it was supposed to be top grade topsoil and it was full of stone roots and all sorts of stuff it was just put there temporary just so that we could get on with the rest of the garden but that will be the next job here and eventually we'll get rid of all of this pick the plants that they want to put back in there and then all of that soil will go through this trommel which we will put in another episode so guys as you can see the water is crystal clear you can see the bottom you can see all the little bits of gravel and stone and everything else that's fallen down in here and you can see the fish more importantly now this is probably the cleanest that um, my parents pond has ever been in the 30 35 years that i know that they've had one they're absolutely loving this pond. They're out on the chairs out here with an umbrella most days, including the evenings, and they've been known them to come out here and eat as well since this part of the garden's been done. And I think that's important because my parents deal with a lot. Um, my granddad's got dementia. Um, they've been caring for him for the last six, seven years, and uh, it is a drain on them. So to be able to sort this garden out, um, you know does give something back to them for everything they've done for me over the years and i want to thank them for that but also it allows them to have some bit of tranquility where they can get away from the house and have that little chill out time but like i said you know this part of the garden has come a long way since it was first started and if you've looked at that video with the uh with the pond refurb then you will see what the top end of this garden was like and how, just how far it has come. But like I said, as you can see, the fish are absolutely loving it in here. Um, they've even been spawning, which is really good. Now, we do have a little bit of blue plastic around the waterfall, which still needs covering, but the plants, as they grow and mature, will cover all that up anyway, so you'll never see it. Um, we've turned the volume of the waterfall down, but only because we don't want a gushing torrent coming down and disturbing all of the lily pads and stuff that are in here at the moment. But like I said, fish are doing fantastic. The top end of this garden is looking really good now. We just need to sort out that big border on the other side and, uh, and eventually they can slab down there when they get the new wall in. So uh, that's them pretty much happy. Anyway guys, I hope this video was of interest to you. Um, I know it's a little bit different to the allotment videos, and I've been doing a lot of different stuff lately with the bees and everything else. But as you guys know, this is a channel that um, goes out with anything that I'm doing. So anything garden related or bees, uh, poultry, things like that. That's what this channel is all about, guys. And um, a few people have sort of said, oh, well, you know, I don't like the bees or and, and others have said, I really like the bees. Um, it's what I'm doing, guys. and. You know if you want to subscribe to this channel i'd love you to um but you do need to understand that this is my journey and um, i need to be true to that the other thing i want to mention while i'm here is that we recently had a poll for the uk here we grow brand name now that's been going on for quite a few years now and, and all of you know that and we're over 18,000 subscribers now and I can't thank you guys enough for that and I want to continue growing that and I put a poll up asking should I drop the UK portion of the name and the reason for that was because we're a multi-nation channel now and the Facebook groups and Twitter accounts and everything else the Instagram um, are all multi-nation so I thought 
do I drop the UK part and just have here we go? Um, I didn't know if that was going to be possible because here we grow was uh, website was taken by another company uh, and everything else but the poll is still ongoing it's on the YouTube channel and on the Facebook groups um, but at the moment it is hands down winning saying that we should keep the name as UK here we grow and if that continues that's what we're gonna do guys um, at the end of the day you know we we'll value every single one of your opinion anyway guys I hope you liked this video today and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends because that really helps us to get found and for the channel to grow and I really appreciate all your help with that. And if you haven't already and this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification which lets you know every time we upload a video. And on that note, videos are every Tuesday and Friday at 7pm and that's British Summer Time at the moment or Greenwich Mean Time plus one. Depends how you want to look at it. That just leaves me to thank you all and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Bye bye.